Two French cars are assembled on the basis of Outlander XL, Citroën C-Crosser and Peugeot 4007 and is almost a complete copy of it. They were presented at the Geneva Motor Show in July 2007, entered the market in Germany in September 2007. Peugeot 4007 was produced in Russia at a car factory in Kalug. If you like everything about the Mitsubishi Outlander, accessibility, brutality, and traditional Japanese reliability, but lack French charm, you can safely choose the C-Crosser. Indeed, in design and technical terms, these crossovers are almost identical slash. Since we are talking about the C-Crosser, it is impossible not to mention the Peugeot 4007, which differs from the related Frenchman in external styling as well as nameplates on the body and in the cabin. Otherwise, the nickname has everything in common, both engines and gearboxes with all-wheel drive transmission and the design of suspensions with steering. The new French clones cost a little more than the Japanese donor. Logically, prices for used Citroën C-Crosser should have been slightly lower than for Mitsubishi Cutlander of the same age. After all, French cars a priori quickly lose value. However, reality says otherwise, C-Crosser has an enviable liquidity in the Russian market, and the price tag for it is sometimes even higher than for Outlander. Apparently, his Japanese origin and attractive appearance affect him. The crossover was sold with both a 5 and a 7-seater saloon and 3 engines, petrol 2.0, 147 horsepower, and 2.4L, 170 horsepower, from Outlander and a French turbo diesel 2.2L, 156 horsepower. The standard petrol version has a 5-speed manual transmission, while the turbo diesel has a 6-speed one. For a surcharge, a variator was installed on gasoline C-Crossers. The French crossover compares favorably with the Japanese one with a more generous C-Crosser package with front-wheel drive and a manual transmission. It is offered only in the simplest dynamic version, which includes front airbags, air conditioning, electric windows, and heated mirrors. The contort version is noticeably richer. It has a color display, climate control, headlights, light and rain sensors, and leather is used for interior trim. Available only for the C-Crosser with the CVT, the exclusive version is distinguished by a leather interior, xenon lighting, and electrically adjustable front seats. It also has footrests, a third row of seats, and an automatic second row folding mechanism. Gasoline engines with a volume of 2.0, 147 horsepower, and 2.4 liters. 170 horsepower, are the same in design and reliable. In the drive of the gas distribution mechanism in the engines, a strong, so-called backlash-free chain is used. Its service life is calculated for the entire life of the unit. Apparently, this is actually the case, since there have not yet been cases of its replacement. The engines do not have hydraulic valve compensators, they are regulated by the selection of washers. This operation will be required only after 100,000 kilometers or even later, specialist. It is advised to periodically monitor the condition of the rollers of the auxiliary drive belt, pump, hydraulic booster pump and generator, since by 60,000 kilometers the rollers made of plastic wear out, their working surface from a cylindrical one eventually turns into a conical or barrel-shaped one. In the end, the belt slips and jumps off, though in most cases this happens without serious consequences for the engine. Replacement will cost 16,000 rubles. Most of this amount will be given for spare parts. You can save money. The parts bought in the store are about a third cheaper than those of the officials. It is more expedient to perform the work at specialized service stations. Turbo diesels with the common rail power system are very reliable. After four to five years of operation, it will be necessary to preventively update glow plugs, 1,900 rubles and more. And in order not to spend money on new injection nozzles, they should be periodically washed with a special liquid. The durability of the fuel pump directly depends on the quality of the fuel, so it is better to refuel at proven gas stations. BMCP to 150,000 km will have to change the bushings of the backstage lever. The ACE and CVT variator in the early versions, due to the irreversible wear of the pressure cones, twitched and worked noisily. Officials changed the box under warranty. After making changes to the design of the variator in 2008, there were no serious problems with the variator. All-wheel drive transmission Citroen C-Crosser is reliable. It can operate in three modes, 2WD, front-wheel drive, or WD, all-wheel drive, and lock. In the latter case, the center clutch is forcibly blocked, thereby providing more confident movement on light off-road conditions. There are almost no weak points in the transmission 
except perhaps an outboard bearing, which wears out after 100,000 kilometers. True, it changes along with the card and shaft. At dealers, the part costs about 75,000 rubles, and the cardan ordered from the Emirates is half the price. 8. Fully independent suspension of the Citroën C-Crosser. The main complaints are to the front shock absorbers, 6,500 rubles each, which can leak for 15,000 kilometers, while bearings are also short-lived, which are changed separately from the hubs, at the dealer, 3,000 rubles each, you can buy cheaper. Racks, 1,100 rubles each, and bushings, 540 rubles each, of the stabilizers take care of the 100. In the rear suspension, in addition to the hub bearings, 3,000 rubles each, nothing breaks before 100 to 130,000 kilometers. However, with the full load, the suspension breaks through, so every two or three years you have to change sagging springs, 4,800 rubles each. Body. It does not lend itself to corrosion, and the paintwork, like that of the Japanese, is weak. The rear windows warp over time, as their jammed rubber seal lets you know. In this case, you have to change the U-shaped sealing gum and file the fasteners of one of the guides. Replacement at the dealer, from 8,500 rubles. Windshields cracked for no apparent reason. Mechanics express a version of insufficient body rigidity. Engines. Designed for the 95th gasoline, but they work fine on the 92nd. It is also recommended to be used by the officials, motor electronics from the category of super reliable. Cases of failure of oxygen sensors, 4,200 rubles each, and mass air flow, 5,800 rubles each, idling or isolated, but a radiator leak from 7,500 rubles after several Russian winters is not uncommon. Transmission. Manuals are generally durable. There were problems with CVTs in early versions, but after 2010 these devices have become more reliable. In an all-wheel drive transmission, by 100,000 kilometers, the outboard bearing must be updated, which changes as an assembly with the card and shaft. With long slipping off-road, the electronically controlled clutch overheats. Suspension. In the front suspension, the shock absorber struts failed, which on early copies could leak at 15,000 runs. Wheel bearings serve a little more, 3,000 rubles each, which can be changed individually, not in pairs. Ball bearings, 1,800 rubles each are guaranteed to withstand 50,000 kilometers or more. The rear suspension usually does not make itself felt before 130,000 kilometers. Before this period, only wheel bearings, 2,800 rubles each, and springs, which often sag with frequent use of the machine with full load, may not survive. In the brake system, more than 60,000 kilometers rarely withstand discs, 4,900 rubles. Over time, the camber angles of the rear wheels leave. Work costs from 2,500 rubles.